again, my name is Russell Smith, and I'm the technology facilitator at Hugo Arena High School, as well as Carpenter Elementary. And today I'm back with another tech tidbit. This time I wanted to explore a little something on the artistic side. So I am going to show you how to use Soundtrap.com. S-O-U-N-D-T-R-A-P.com. So what Soundtrap.com is, it's a uh, Web 2.0 website that allows you to kind of create your own musical beats, your own musical tracks. For example, if you are creating a play or filming a play for that, uh, or a skit that your students want to make their own movie, but they also need music and they don't want to pay for uh, music, they can create their own music that they can download and import into their movie project. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. You do need to sign up for a free account click on login and you sign up with your username or your email and your password and sign in. I'm going to stop and sign in for a moment and I'll be right back with more. Once you have created your account and signed in, you will be prompted at your email to go ahead and click on the activation link. It will provide you with an activation code to type in. I've already done that so I've, and I've gone through the registration process so I'm signing to my account. Um, I'm not going to worry about uh, updating my profile right now. That's something you can do on your own time. I'm going to go ahead and just click on Enter the Studio. And we're in easy mode right now. I'm only going to show you easy mode because I am by no means a musical genius or prodigy. I barely have any musical skills. So I'm just going to play this by ear, so to speak, except I'm going to be using my fingers instead of my ear. So as it loads the instrument, what you do is you see these two tabs on the side. Click on the Loops tab. And this shows you all the different types of instruments you're able to use in the free version. Drums, beats, bass, piano, synth, sound effects, pop, rock, R&B, jazz, and EDM. Now you'll notice as I scroll, into, and right now we're on all than all the different types of music and all the different um, styles of music. So as you scroll down, you'll see that some of them are blue and some of them are red. Right now, since we're in the free version, you can only use these tracks that are in blue. So, and if you pay to the upgrade, pay for the upgraded account, you can use the red tracks as well. You have access to everything. But, but since you know teachers, uh, we don't want to spend money because we earn so much. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just use the free tracks. So all you have to do, if you want to hear what a track sounds like, is click on it. And if you like it, drag it over to where it says Add Track. And you move the player, or where, the, where it is in the track, up to the beginning, and click Play. And the standard length of the track is going to be nine seconds. So if you want it to last longer than nine seconds, what could, you can stop the, tr stop the track and go up to the track and click on the, the loop icon in the corner and just stretch it for as long as you want. So for example, I'm going to just go ahead and stretch it to 16 seconds. So this is going to be a 16 second loop. So there's my first audio track. So instead of bass, I want to try something else. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on a beat that I have, a blue beat that I can use. I'm going to click on bubblegum. And if I like bubblegum, using a laptop, a touchpad sometimes you get, you get lost and you skip around. So that stretches, and I move it back. It does slip a little sometimes. So that's, it makes the default is 9. I'm going to stretch it to make it 18 or 16. Place it back at the beginning and see what it sounds like when, they're, when they play together. So that's what it sounds like when they play together. If I decide I'll, I don't want it to play all the whole time, 
together. I can move it back by using the looping icon at the, in the corner. And then if I go to the top, to the top of the track and hold down my mouse button or my track button, I can drag the track for where I wanted to start playing together. So I place it at the beginning. It starts out with the odd, with the with the baseline, and after five seconds comes the beat. So let's say I want to add another beat. I want to add a dance hop beat as my third track. You can't add as many tracks as you want in the free version. You can only put you can only have maybe five or six at the most. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to the nine second mark. Move my track back. Move it to five seconds. Hit play. So we have track. We have the bass line and the beat for bubblegum playing. And here comes dance hop one. So as I said, you can make you can make it shorter. You can make it longer. It has to be at least, let's say, four seconds for it to have the beat on the track. So if I want to have it play longer, I can have it play longer. If you decide that you want to get rid of a track that you don't want anymore, you can click the arrow on the track name and click remove track and confirm to remove it. I'm going to add Snap Crackle 2 instead. I'm just going to add the loop. But you can see right now, all these beats are, and loops are playing at 120, beat per, 120 beats per minute. For this one, I want to change that. I want to make it faster. So I'm going to make it 180, 180 beats per minute. And it won't stretch the length of the track, but it will only the note tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and change the beats per minute. And you can hear that for this third track, it's playing faster than the other two tracks. So if you decide that you want to change the length of the tempo of the track, you'll need to delete the old track, import the new track, and change the beats per minute so they all match together. Otherwise, it's going to sound, sound a little out of sync. This track, I'm going to add Snap Crackle again. And run right now. I'm going to add, to see if I can add anything else. I'm going to add a drum beat. I'm going to add some bread and butter. Add it in at the five second mark. Lengthen it. Lengthen this. And lengthen this. And start it from the beginning. Play it. Here comes bubblegum, the beat, as well as the drums, bread and butter. And it plays for a few seconds. And as we hit the 13 second mark, we're going to be joined by the crack, snack, crack, snack, snack, crackle 2 beat. And that should top out at 21 seconds or so. So let's say that this is the song that we want. We want to use all these tracks together and make it, make it a song and merge it together. How you do that is you click on settings over here, click on the, on the drop down arrow, click merge tracks, and it gives you, and it says select the tracks to merge. 
I'm going to hold down the control button and select all four of these tracks. I want all these tracks to be merged together. This is mixing them together. And now we have one 23, one 23 and a half second track. We're going to move it back to the beginning. Click play. And turn the sound so you can hear. So this is our mixed track. So you can hear the beat and the drums. And finally, so we can save the track so we can use it, we're going to cl click on the down, arrow, the down arrow from the track that's called Merged. We're going to click on Export. It's mixing it together. And encoding it, and you can't see it because of the boundaries of my of my screencast, but it's downloading the song into your into your downloads folder, so you can play it. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So now I've now I've downloaded the track and I'm playing it in iTunes. So now this music is ready to be used in your professional video production or whatever you want to use it for. Anyway, that in a nutshell is Soundtrap.com. My name is Russell Smith, and thanks for watching, and I'll be back with, uh, soon with another Tech Tidbit. Thanks for watching.